carbs gave the energy to never quit Guess it was the bread in me Same dude yelling, you can't guard a zombie So picture you dead in me uh, High carbs gave the energy to never quit Guess it was the bread in me Same dude yelling, you can't guard a zombie So picture you dead in me It's an eye for an eye when it come to the streets But both eyes closed when you under the sh** I reached into my bag, pick what I should wear And the bag was VOH, let's just make it clear Slow it down, I just dissed you Slow it down before they miss you Grew up taking risks, admire those taking risks too Crazy Bye. What up, y'all? Thanks for tuning back in Number two Uh-oh Hour one was a goodie, we had Frey Great uh, philanthropist type of brother Now we got two, one, two brothers here we got two brothers here two Former, brothers. hold on, we're not even going to get into Big Al Big Al was promoted Okay This is former player of the year right here You got to put some respect on my okay. man's name, okay. man okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let, Put let some me, respect let, on my man right here Let me know who this brother is Let, let I, me know, put me on This is my, this is my man, I'm just going to say This is my man Chuck Because uh-huh. he's going to have to give his intro hey, nah. This is my man hey, nah. Chuck What's going so on, Chuck? Chuck let please let the know. people know who you are, player. You no, know, Chuck in the building. Uh huh. You know, Nike High School Player of the Year. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Talk that, that talk. talk. <laughs> we ain't never had no Nike dudes come up here yeah, and really he's the, talk. Yeah, he's oh, he's the first, first yeah, yeah, we don't yeah, really yeah. have no Nike yeah. dudes. Well, not even the league. Not they don't really. I don't know what's going man. on, but Nike yeah. Nike dudes, Nike dudes don't leave Nike. I like this. I like this. Why y'all do that? I like this. So Chuck, former Player of the Year, Nike High School. What year was this? Don't lump me in there. Ninety nine. Ninety nine player of the year. Wow. Uh so you qualify for that thirty five and up. Absolutely. Oh, so I got a hard foul waiting for you. What you thought? What you thought? Nah. Right out the game. Nah. Foul he he probably there was something in PAO he probably did to me, I don't know. Okay, but okay, okay, you know, okay. I'm gonna foul you just for the sake of argument. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you're not gonna let him sting with that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nah, you can still go get that foul. <laughs> nah, but all jokes aside, man, Chuck, good seeing you, man. It's been a long time. Player of the year, 1999. That's man. crazy, yo. So we're gonna get into a little of your story, but the man of the hour, Uh-oh. Big Al, oh, Big Al, Big Beard. I see, I see you out here, man. Thank y'all for having me, bro. Yeah, I see man. you out here, up, man. Bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. No, up. thank you. First of all, thank you for uh, opening Everything. my eyes and uh, putting me on. Like, yo, man, you should become, that's you know, you got the book. Yo, man, you ever thought about becoming a member? <laughs> that, that's, that's how you said it. You sound like one of the brothers in the old commercials, you know what I'm saying? Hey, young fella, what you doing with yourself? <laughs> what you doing with your life, player? <laughs> young Jive right. Turkey? That's how you get him, though. That's and he did. He was like, yo, man. You should become a member That's And I was like I'll see what I could do man But I do need this property For this project ah. <laughs> And he said Alright Alright If you want the property though nah, We gotta figure this out <laughs> I, see, I, I see what you was doing In the, in the community though Yeah, yeah But yeah, it was man, good man, How you important. understood that Because of this This obsession of Absolutely. business I have You used that against me Yeah you wrote I me in you. Yeah <laughs> It's all good It's all good I accepted the bait I accepted the bait I accepted the bait So I I appreciate you, you know, no, making man. me a member of the NAACP, no, no, man. So thank you, man. That's what's up. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. And, oh, and man, thank you pleasure. for everything you've done for the movement, period, man. Because uh-huh. in the shadows, you've done a lot more than people know about. Mm-hmm. So just brother to brother, I want to say thank you for giving us a lot of opportunities we wouldn't have had with this COVID shutdown. Oh, man, you know? I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. It's the, it's the least I can do. You know what I'm saying? So the this is the brother that helped you out with the three-on-three tournaments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. the property. Uh, Old Stone, uh, baby. Old Stone. Old Stone, baby. That's what's up. That was plus. Oh, that thanks, was clutch because people beyond. needed basketball. Yeah, they needed the hoops, and then when I, I saw that it. situation, yeah, uh, I need it. It was a so little okay. so a now, little so now, <laughs> now you see why. You know, a little selfish. So at first it was like, all right, he almost got me with the NAACP <laughs> stuff, but. I understood that this man loves basketball That's just as fact. much as I yeah. do. Nah. So he wants to be on the court. He, he looks like, yo, I, yo, you know what's crazy? He looks like Melo on his own court. His <laughs> game is just like Melo. Okay, the real Melo, not the first Melo. First yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, original oh, OG Melo. OG Melo. OG Melo. OG Melo. OG Melo. He looks okay. like OG Melo out there. You crazy. know, a lot of jump shots going. Okay. Actually, remember in our three-on-three tournament, he actually beat a team. He had two players. Him and one guy actually beat a full three-on-three team. Him and Project Pat. 
Yeah. 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 Him and Project Pat actually Word. beat a team in our three on three. They wasn't respecting us. They wasn't oh, respecting us. Like two people? Yeah. They was like, all right, bro, we'll take them. I'm like, hold on, though. You got to understand, this ain't a regular two man team. Yeah. Project Pat is an unlimited hustler. And then you got Big Al. He got a plus everything at this crib. At the crib, we go up a little bit. He got a plus everything at this crib. All sliders. 80 to 85. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Who said 80 no. to 85? Hold on, bro. Jump like shot, 97, jump man. shot, jump shot, 98. Mid range, 98 on that snake. court. I was Crazy. Sneak move. I was Real sneaky, sneak move. <laughs> but now, nice property though, for Fact. sure. Speaking Fact. of properties, Old Stone, yeah. man, what you been up to, brother? Nah, man, we just been trying to build. Um, you know, the company's been going for about four years now. Okay, congrats so, to that. Thank you, thank you. And it's listen, man, it's a struggle. It's not, it's not. You know, oh. having your own business is yes. not an easy yes. thing. That's Ever. A fact. It's been a lot of evenings where you look in the mirror and you like, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> You took a right Especially with mouth, a family bro. Absolutely With a family Had a lot of support You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Had a lot of support Along the way mm-hmm. But uh, we in a good place Man we had the opportunity To do some big projects In the first quarter of this year And um, that gave us A lot of cushion You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying For that downturn When COVID really got crazy Yeah Um but we worked on LaGuardia Project. We had a big mall in wow. Norwalk. Wow. Um, oh, you can't. Yo, yo, you worked at LaGuardia. Y'all, y'all yeah, construction were, clean. That's, yeah. that's big, yeah. Wow, that's yeah, huge. Because yeah, no, that's a huge project. Yeah, it's a huge project, man. It was, uh, what is it, 19 weeks. Wow. Mm. We were there. And um, huge project. A lot of people, a lot of money out, but a lot of money in at the end. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's really about cash flow, just like any business. Any business, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, man. Now it's now it's on to the next, right? We got a, a, a project in uh, New Rochelle that we're gonna be bidding um, called the Rockwell. Um, so we're gonna be bidding on that soon. Um, huge project. Um, is that is that a spot by the water? It's not by the water. Okay. It's, uh, you know where Iona College is? Yeah. yeah. So it's right up the street from Iona College. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I've nice. heard of it. It's I like just... 142 units. Wow, that's oh, dope. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got that's a CVS dope. in the bottom of it. Ooh, but it's, it's a fancy. big luxury property. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and sense. doesn't the school does the school uh like rent those out to the students? I don't I don't think so. I think it's all private residential. That's dope, um, huh? But they may have some type of deal with Some Iowa. type of deal, yeah. That's probably. Dope. I don't know. That's a good it's project. Money. Yeah, yeah. 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 Probably. Probably. Most, most likely. But yeah, man. Old Stone out here moving. That's, okay. Yeah, no, we, we, you got to be. You yeah. got to be moving constantly. You know what I'm saying? And we got our ear to the ground. Um, I don't know if you guys know, and I've talked to you about the NWBE status. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm a, yo, stop coming on I here and telling me what y'all talk to me about. I don't know what y'all talking about. You feel me? I don't know what y'all talking about. You gotta re- refresh my memory, brother. Listen, man, for anybody, anybody out there of color, right, uh-huh. uh, and a minority, mm-hmm. um, and you're doing business in New York State, mm-hmm. um, having a minority-owned business enterprise certification. Is important. Mm-hmm. Talk mm-hmm. to them. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it gives you the opportunity to bid on things that you otherwise would not have the opportunity to in terms of government contracts. Oh, wow. Stuff that's crazy. A lot, lot of gems that's out cool. here. That's but, crazy. But beyond, but beyond that, too. And that's just the stuff that I'm interested in because I'm in the, in the uh, construction, the construction uh, cleaning yeah. space. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? That That's one of the things that I want to make sure that I, I got out on this. And, and a lot of people know this. This isn't, you know... A lot of people don't know about this. Yeah, I did not. A lot of people, not, lot of people secret, do not know I about did not. Know, I, I'm, I got my hands in business a lot. I did not know that there are, you know, uh, extra loops you got to jump through. There's to always different to, levels. That's okay. crazy. Absolutely. <laughs> it could help you a lot. It could help you a lot with MOR. And um, there's um, consultants that can help you walk through the process. I actually have a consultant right now helping me walk through the process of getting okay. the certification. It's, a, it's, it's difficult. It's a lot of paperwork. Oh, of course. Sure. Of course. A lot of sure. taxes involved. Mm-hmm. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Everything's got to be, you know what I'm saying? P's and Q's got to yes. be, you know, right. Yes. Um, so I d- actually did it um, two years ago. I wasn't ready. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. said, you know, somebody said, oh, you should have this. I was mm-hmm. like, all right, let me let jump me off it. the deep end. Mm-hmm. And I didn't get, you know, I didn't get it through. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you get like two opportunities in the span of like three years right, okay. to get it off. Okay. Um. So you know, I had to learn the hard way. This is a, a, a big part about business is bumping your head. You yeah, that's a fact. You got to bump your head on the fly. Yeah. You got to keep it moving. So, yeah. um, we in a good space, man. We're in a good space, and we're trying to grow the company. You know, always looking for for positive people to jump on board. Um, and uh, trying to, you know, just trying to expand, man. So Old Stone is hiring. 
We are always hiring and looking for people with talent to jump First of all, hold on. Don't come here with these always. PR answers. <laughs> Don't come over here always. with these PR answers. Always. Nah, he's all right. He's all right. He's all right. I'm going to so, see what's up. That was a season a answers. People, you sent a couple people my way. Too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you sent a couple people my way. Hold the so. whoa, 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 whoa. You just called me. Good First of all, stop telling me what I did, yo. I didn't do it. <laughs> yo, yo. First of all, I got an image to uphold. And if you guys keep that. coming on here, Sorry making it seem like I'm out here helping people, I can't keep this image. Right. This brother so, right here yeah, is a Brett positive Bronson. brother. Nah, that's a lot. It's all luck. He said all luck. Don't let him fool you. Stop <laughs> Don't let him fool you. It's it. all I, luck. I have to jump in on this. Don't it's let him fool you. It's all luck. He lying. So, he lying. So, <laughs> enough, enough about me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, yeah. back to you, Mr. Al, man. So, uh, Old Stone Property. Mm-hmm. Right now, you are bidding for a spot in uh, New Rochelle. Mm-hmm. Um, are there any other activities that you guys have done that you could fill us in on because um, just think about it as somebody that's listening to this or watching this that's mm-hmm. never seen you before never mm-hmm. heard of your company name some things that you've done i mean beyond well norwalk the norwalk um mall mm-hmm. uh, oh it's called okay. Sono, it's called sono mall mm-hmm. i know you heard about that mm-hmm. that's dope but um we did the construction cleaning on that project wow. and you gotta you know four years the company's four years old right mm-hmm. so um we're young you know as mm-hmm. far as companies yes so. absolutely yeah. and um uh like a side business that um that I've been working on and, and Chuck has actually been helping me with this is um junk junk removal right okay. resi- resi- residential residential mm, talk that um, talk junk removal um, commercial mm. stuff we're really not ready for that quite yet but mm-hmm. you know residential junk removal is, is a really big business yes, it is. Um, absolutely yes, it and is. if you have the energy and you have the equipment mm-hmm. most importantly then you know saying you can make some money and grow a business too so that's like an offshoot nice. of the construction cleaning piece that we're trying to um that we're trying to build right now so uh and those jobs come week week to week you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. they can be big jobs 500 hundred dollar job thousand dollar jobs or they can be you know a small 120 dollar job 250 dollar job and you take those jobs because those, those jobs it lead, but those jobs, hey, those listen, jobs lead to the next thing. Exactly. I grew up, I grew like up playing Absolutely. Super Mario, all right? And when I played Super Mario, Mario collected every coin. Yep, mm-hmm. every last So I'm going to collect yep. every coin. Right. So if it's $100, if it's $150, if it's $700, Absolutely. just tell me the job so I could collect, and then I'll build my up. rapport, exactly. and then I'll, I'll build up my reputation with exactly. you, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden I'll be the man in there. But the problem is a lot of people don't want to put the work in. Exactly. They want to get there and they jump in. They want the in. first job to be yeah. the LaGuardia yeah. Airport. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> no, job, no job is too small. No that's job right. is too oh, small. You got to have that, that, that dynamic in your mind when you when you approach business, I think. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's unless you got unless you got a ton of capital behind you and it's like whatever. Even then. Yeah. Yeah. We take everything. Well, yeah, you you're still want to yeah. take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah take yeah, it all. Pause. Pause. Take it all. But, you know, do what you got to do. I'm just saying I know how they get, so I got to say that. I know how they get. Young dudes, they be tripping. Do you ever know your bread? I heard what you said. Yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't even know you were listening. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no even likes or none. It's, it's true. That's a gem, brother. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Busy man. Busy Bad man. Oh damn. Sorry. Somebody heard you hiring already. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a strange number. That's too. crazy. I don't know. Oh, you never I know. Mean, like, what? Where? <laughs> Oh, hold on. Let me call I mean, I mean, this is never tuck your town radio. You ducking? You scared nah. to pick up? Bill collectors don't call on nah, Sundays. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you scared to pick up? You don't want to stay here? Hear the, the underworld of old stone? Hey man, so what's we, going on? This is Bill, man. So me and the family, me and the family, in the process of a move right now. Oh, where so, you, you moving? Know, oh, okay. Oh, oh. So old stone move, moving so, during so the things pandemic. Is, things is crazy. Mm. Things is crazy. I don't know if you guys ever been through a move, but you know we packing up boxes. It's like, terrible. Oh wait, hold now, hold on. That's some. That's some money talk. Right there. Since, since like, you I don't it, know bro. if you've been to move. Since Friday, bro. Oh, since, since Friday. this Friday that's since this Friday. Since this Friday. So it's crazy. Okay. It's crazy. And, and on the top of that, we got a couple other stuff, like things with family that's going on that's mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. just hectic. What you know about Emma Line Park? Didn't you uh, do something over in Havistro where you kind of went through there, did the park? Didn't you do Nyack Park as well? Though you did some park cleanup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well that was that was connected to the uh, NAACP. Either you know or still yeah, yeah. you doing the work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we just so tell us about that. There's a there's a there's Those a space. Cleanups. Yeah, there's a space down in um in uh, Havistra. It's it's Havistra Beach, but it's. I don't know if you guys know where the path is that leads from Havistra to all the way to, to N- uh, Nyack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To uh, yeah. so if Rockland Lake, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lake. <clears throat> so if you walk on that path, you start on that path. There's an area where a lot of folks, um, Latin Amer- I saw a lot, a lot of Latin Americans. So they might not be Latin Americans. They're just, just Latin folks. 
that go down there and just with their families in the summertime and just chill mm -hmm. and, and, and relax and stuff like that. It's very secluded, you know right. what I'm saying? Very private, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but I went down there with my son one day. Just, I mean, because we like to hike. You know, yeah. my son, pick him up after school, hiking. And I went down there and it was just tons of garbage everywhere. I'm like, dang, I was like... I mean, this is a nice space. Like, mm -hmm. it shouldn't yeah. look like this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm picking up trash and stuff. So I was like, all right. Part of what we do as the NAACP Young Adults Committee is when you see a problem, attack the problem. Facts. Don't go and ask somebody, you know what I'm saying? If it's something, you know what I'm saying, that we can do, we do it. So I just put out the APB to to our members and said, listen, let's 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 get some trash bags and get down here and clean this up. Dope. You know what I'm saying? So we gave it like two, three hours. Uh, Chuck was involved. Um, my cousin Nikki was involved. Um... We had a couple other folks with us, and we just picked up trash, man. But it, I mean, that's the type of stuff I think that we should be doing in the community. Yes, that's doesn't a fact. always doesn't always have to be a big heavy lift. No, that's, that's a fact. You, know so, you don't always have to be giving a bunch of stuff to people. You know what I'm saying? You could be cleaning up the place. Yeah, you know every little bit counts, man. I like, yeah. I like yeah. I love I love doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it, it, and you ain't had the cameras out. It wasn't nah, on nah. every single nah, grand it was like page you got. And after, and that was it. That was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we took yeah. a little photo pop. No, no, I'm you know, saying like I'm just, I'm just saying wrong. no, you got to you got to have the proof, but I'm yeah. just saying like you wasn't out there on live like, yeah, like look, look, look what I'm doing, doing. Like, yeah, yeah. like I'm cleaning yeah. up and you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's what we it's not what about we frown that. upon. It's not about that, man. And the, and the NAACP, man, this organization that I'm involved with and you're involved with as well. I don't mean to put it up, put you out there. No, like no, that. we good with that. I gave the I gave the disclaimer on that. But that, that, <laughs> that's that's Crazy. one of the main that's one of the main reasons I'm involved with this organization, man. The, uh, the NAACP is is a huge organization that's doing a lot of thing in policy, you know, mm -hmm. in political policy and things like that. Um, and that's the large, huge stuff, right? But it's got to have soldiers on the ground doing Absolutely. stuff like that, right? Absolutely. And that and that's what I represent. Um, with the NAACP, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you're not a member in, in your in your town, in your area, you should be a member, man. You should be a member. It's thirty five dollars uh, for a membership. You know what I'm saying? It's easy peasy. You know what I'm saying? You get a newsletter. What's going on? They talk to you about the policy that they're pushing uh, with President Biden right now um, and Kamala. Uh, what, what we call her, Madam Vice President? Madam Kamala. Vice President, yeah. Yeah. Put some so, respect on that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, but we gotta push those people, right? When the people get, mm -hmm. you know, get in political positions like that, you can't just say, "Oh, we got them in." Now we yeah. gotta push those people to do the right things for our people. Exactly. Right. As, so, as right. long as they're going to be around after election time is over. Exactly. Because what happens that I, I see is like you know people come to your town. It's mm -hmm. a lot of photo ops. A lot of people that shake your hand and smile, mm -hmm. and they see that you have a community of people that they can talk to. So you're mm -hmm. best friends. And then once the election time is over. You're pretty much over, yeah, just like absolutely. any high school coach, just like mm -hmm. any job that's done with you, just like mm -hmm. any other process or yep. formula I've been a part of. So what can I do to protect myself from people like that? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you could suggest that I can do? To protect yourself from who? From from from, from the people that the opportunists. The opportunists. Go. Good. Opportunities in political positions? Yeah. yeah, because, you know, there's some people mm -hmm. that are genuine that are going to come by that genuinely want to help care. out, yeah, that genuinely want to fix things. Yeah, but then absolutely. there's people that see your numbers and they just want to be a part of your numbers. Yes. Absolutely. So absolutely. how do you, with you be in a position you're in, and I'm sure you've seen this a time mm -hmm. or two, because mm -hmm. me, I'm not political at all. Mm -hmm. So you being in a position you're in, mm -hmm. what can I look out for that can help me differentiate who's who? Well, I think, it's, I think it's important that you understand when it comes to politics and mm -hmm. political action that, you know, these politicians are always looking for something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes. Yes. They're looking for some activity from you. They're mm -hmm. going to want you to knock on doors at some point. There are some that are in it for the right reasons, right? Yes. But at the end of the day, they need you. You mm. know what I'm saying? They need you and they, and, and they work for you at the end of the day. Um, and a lot of people don't really approach politics like that. Like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Um, so, I mean, a part of being a, a member of the NAACP is understanding, you know, the, you know, understanding your power, but understanding that these people have to come, have to come to you, right, mm -hmm. and come to your organization. And your mm -hmm. organization is going to vet these people, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And that's part of what we do, too. We have these forums with these politicians that are mm -hmm. looking for office, and we make sure that they talk about their platform and what they're tr what they're trying to do for us. And then we hold them accountable and we let them know what our platform is, right? And that's and that's really what being a part of an organization is. When you're an individual, right? And you're an or individual, all you get is a slate when you when you vote, right? Yeah. yeah. And you have to make a decision just based on, you know, either reading the newspaper or, or watching the news or whatever it is. And mm -hmm. and that's cool too. Mm -hmm. But I think it's best to be a part of an organization, right? And for ten years before I actually got into my own business, I worked for uh, an organization called the Service Employees International Union, Local 32 BJ. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm a union. I'm a union brat. You okay. Know what I'm saying my moms, my pops, mm -hmm. all had unions. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
That's how they make their money. That's yes. how they that's how they raise their voice through your union. That's mm-hmm. another way yeah. you organization know, that we hold politicians accountable. Mm-hmm. A yeah, lot of yeah. these unions out here, that's what they do. Yes. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They they use their they use their members to move politics. Yes. Right. Okay. And that's a very important thing. And that's that's basically what the NAACP does in Rockland County, right? And mm-hmm. that's what they do across the country. They use their members to move politics. Yes. So right? so yep. the, your your uh, chapter of Nyack, right? Nyack Nyack Havistraw. That's what the Nyack okay. chapter represents. Okay. Nyack okay. Havistraw and there might be another another town involved there. Okay. So there is no like Nyack I mean Havistraw hub? There's no, there's no particular Havistraw branch to my knowledge, right? Oh, okay. There's no, oh, there's wow. no particular person that's like the representative, the representative yeah. for Havistraw. Okay. So my, okay. my understanding when I ask. Okay. I didn't. I, I the only reason why I ask is because that's kind of shocking to me. Yeah, yeah and even back like, then, I was, I used to go to the Rise program, which was in Nyack as a youth when I was in like fifth grade. Mm-hmm. Um, and NAACP was heavily involved. It was always Nyack. It was never Havistra. So my dad would take me every Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. We go to the uh, I forget the name of that big white building right behind the, the bars in Nyack. Mm-hmm. Oh, we I go know right, about. We go right in there, and every Saturday morning, you know, they would come talk to us. They took us down oh. to D.C. Mm-hmm. We went okay. to Howard University for oh. a weekend. Oh, that's so nice. that's they were really involved. So that's nice. Oh, that's so dope. the Yak was Yak been yeah, out here. They've been yeah. active, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they've that's been good, active. That's what's up. So, so I say all that. What What are you guys doing now to to bring education to, to people that don't really know how to move in this political space or don't know how to organize things to get things done mm-hmm. for their people? Mm-hmm. Good question. I mean, I can't I I can't necessarily speak to that because my committee, the Young Adults Committee, mm-hmm. is mostly we've been mostly focused on trying to do things inside of the um holidays right Uh like with toy drives and food drives and things like that we're also Mm -hmm. trying to raise awareness and change some things with um the police departments Mm -hmm. in rockland county that's what we've been focused on now there's um there's the health committee there's the i think there's a like a political action committee there's like i want to say there's six other committees that are responsible for for specific but, things in the community, okay. nice. such as that, right? Okay. I can't really speak to it the way that I probably should be able to. So nah, but it's do- so, so basically, you're being real. you have aware, nah, you're aware you have the you could that. lead somebody to the right direction yeah, and say, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is what you, "This is who you want to talk to about that." So absolutely, that's absolutely. What's up. That person is is easy to contact. It's just a call. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, that's big to know because you people get overwhelmed when they when they see like NAACP because yeah. it's such a huge organization. Been around for so, so long. Is? is that what it is? Yeah, I, think, I, think, I, think I think there's a lot are to intimidated, yeah. Because I, I remember even when I was in fifth grade, we went to this uh we went to this it was a big uh open speech room or whatever mm-hmm. and it was probably there was over a thousand people in there Mm -hmm. and i just felt like a little person in a big room Mm -hmm. at that point and i was mad young back then too but Mm -hmm. it just felt overwhelming like you got people on stage how did they get on stage and i'm just here and i'm barely a member like what do i do so and you heard so much history about the NAACP. so you're like wait this this is the organization like wb du bois and all that Mm -hmm. and you're like whoa it's do i is it? Am I worthy? Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Am I worthy to be a part of this organization? So, Absolutely. And I think a lot of people fall into that. And mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. don't feel that way. Mm-hmm. The organization is for us. Right. That's you know what I'm saying? To make, make our lives better. That's you know what I'm saying? Thing. So you should never be intimidated mm-hmm. by something like that. That's mm-hmm. one thing I always tell people, like, with any organization, whether it be NAACP, right. uh, Pan-African, uh, whether it be uh, the Hebrew Israelites, whatever mm-hmm. organization that moves you or resonates with you, join it mm-hmm. you right. know what i mean and mm-hmm. if, if you feel that it's not you you can always leave but right. join it you'll be you'll you'll be shocked what you what you get out of it and mm-hmm. what you, you know learn what on top yes. this, this and just to hear him like, say that some knowledge we, we're trying priceless. to influence policy mm-hmm. that's, that's, a, that's a big, big deal because mm-hmm. nobody's really doing that a lot of people are just we marching yeah. to me i feel like marching don't change anything but how your calves look but exactly. i think marching you know, is mm-hmm. is uh it's it's it, it's needed but the way we're using it it's not part of a strategy exactly mm-hmm. like is, if, if it was a strategic move i think it would be great but. is marching needed though because we've been marching we as our people because this is what i want to say about marching like mm-hmm. our people we march since however and nothing mm-hmm. changes mm-hmm. even when we we march and we march in peace the person that we're marching for getting clapped so what does it matter what exactly. that's what i'm saying yeah. so we march we march we pray we cry we sing we dance and then we go back to watching whatever we watch what they show us on tv we forget about it and then, then something happens else, again then and we and come we back to marching, thing. crying, singing, yeah. dancing, cheering, praying. Mm-hmm. This it's saying. like a cycle, yes, mm-hmm. constant cycle. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. me, the reason why I joined is because I'm not trying to be part of this constant cycle of just I'm not out here to march. 
Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a action. Buck. Mm-hmm. I'm not action. out here to march. I'm mm-hmm. out here to. If we're gonna do something, let's do it. Mm-hmm. If we're exactly. gonna change something, let's change it. Facts. Nobody's gonna be able to change nothing from the outside talking. Mm-hmm. There you go. So all you people out there that think that you're gonna ch- make a change mm-hmm. because you got up that one day to march, <laughs> that one day you went to march, you, you're gonna make a big change in the world. Yeah, right. Nah. It takes consistency. It takes yep. pressure. It takes a lot of people Sacrifice. that's gonna look you in your face and tell you no, nope. and yep. you gotta be bigger than that you gotta be bigger than a no do you know what that's like to be bigger than a no a lot of people Mm. can't handle that's what i'm saying so like i'm I'm sorry i get like this but there's a lot of people there's a lot of people that just come out like george floyd you know Mm -hmm. how many people came to have a show i ain't seen them dudes come back for the turkey no none of them dudes show up for the turkey all these people that came out to have a show to 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 do this for george floyd Mm -hmm. a person they never met before in their life exactly they never met this man you know so I got nothing to do with, you know, people that feel bad for him. Yeah. It was a crazy situation. situation. So I understand the connection. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, all right, you marched. Then what? Then what? What did you do after you marched? <clears throat> Let's build something crib. together. Yeah, man. You Been at the crib ever since, putting on weight. Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? You've been at the crib the quarantine, you know, wait. Hitting the quarantined body yeah, You know it. what I'm saying? Right. While us, we've been out here Working. active yeah, man. And, and all you've been doing is not sharing A share is free yep. That's it. You feel me? And you That's won't it. even share our content mm-hmm. When we're trying to put others on yep. But then you're going to sit here And you're going to step outside for George Floyd mm-hmm. You're going to do all these marchings for police brutality That's why I, From I, a distance I say a lot Give of me a people break. do things like that for a look And I you think already that's know. what's dangerous you about know. the I'm trying to get my likes up I need to get these likes up Wait, what's what's the new thing this week? All right, we're doing mm-hmm. this protest. All yeah, right, yeah. cool. Are they, how about this? Are there going to be any protests in the winter? Because I notice everybody protests in the summer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are there going to be any winter protests? Why? Too cold? No. Oh, but we had Santa outside. Yep. Kids came through, families globe. came through, Santa mm-hmm. and the globe, everything was crazy. I ain't see a lot of these protesters that got families come outside for that either. You know, so the, that's what I'm saying. The hardest, you know? the hardest it's crazy. thing, the hardest thing to do, right? And as far as visibility, right? Because, like I was saying before, I was for 10 years I worked with um, the union, mm-hmm. Local 32 BJ. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you lived in the city at all, you know what I'm saying, you've seen their purple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like oh, yeah. Like yep. So I was responsible for creating those actions, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Running campaigns. That's what dope. I did for 10 years. Dope. You know what I'm saying? So the hardest thing to do, though, is when it gets real cold, is to get your members out in the streets yeah. doing something I active bet. and visible. Yeah. And the visibility, like to answer your question, you were saying, well, you people out in the streets and marching, it's a cycle. Yes, it's a cycle to it. It feels like a cycle to a certain degree, but I think that being out in the streets and marching is, is an important tactic. It's, a, mm. it's just a tactic, just I don't, like anything. Just I don't like, say just it's like not moving, important. I don't like say move, it's not necessary. Okay, just like moving policy, though, just to clear it up, though. Mm-hmm. Um, just like moving policy and, and getting out in the streets and doing a full drive, you know what I'm saying, and and, and, and having these activities to yeah. bring awareness to your organization. All that stuff is important, man, and, and to bring more people in. Because mm-hmm. that's the issue with our organization right now. Our, our chapter, um, the Young Adults Committee, um, exclusively, is bringing people in, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and and I, that's why I, I thought it was interesting when you said people yeah. are just kind of daunted by yeah. Yeah. the NAACP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just sounds like and it seems like something that's bigger, bigger than them. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I think the chapters are so important because yes. it puts a face like yeah. yourself, myself, mm-hmm. you know, to these organizations. You know what I'm saying? And that's very important, man, because we need your energy. Yes. We need that. We need your energy and we need your talent yes. in order to continue to move the needle. Because mm-hmm. it's yep. all about moving the needle. Yeah, we want to do stuff. Right, and you got some great ideas. I got some great ideas, but we can do it a lot quicker when everybody comes together. That's yes. a fact. And that show, that show on Thanksgiving when we were out there, you were Absolutely. out there, your cousin was out there, Fredo out there, every Fredo out there, and we Corker all co- out there. Yeah, Corker out there. Together. We all came the together. Came together. Yeah, exactly. It was crazy. No, nobody cares about who's getting the likes and who's. Nah, you know what I'm saying? not at all. Not a pat on the back. Man. It's not about that. Nah. Nah. It was man. about handing. How quick that. can we give out these 300 turkeys and all the food? It was about the people. And we did it in an hour and a half because we all came together and really just everybody came to work yeah, yeah. You know, it was about it was the people dope. i think y'all y'all got gratification from seeing mm-hmm. how good the people felt about exactly. the whole situation it was felt a, so good man. yeah the only the feeling. only negative thing i would say is that there was no police presence in a positive way mm-hmm. they didn't even roll well, we by once we didn't ask though we not, didn't ask. But i don't I mean, think you needed I, it. i'm I mean, not trying, i'm not, not trying to big not up say, the police not saying that but not saying i didn't ask but there's times that i throw parties and i don't ask for them to show up and they exactly and they right there right away in the first hour that's, that's what I'm saying. Something yeah. positive yeah. happened on that's Broadway. Yeah. Not we even on one, Broadway. Not even yeah. one roll not one, by. Not one of y'all come by real quick. Even if y'all came by and made a joke like, hey, can I get a can turkey? turkey? Yeah, that would be cool. One, not one, yeah. not one car in surveillance for the whole time. Not they were, one. They were just hitting that not camera. One. 
camera, the zoom on that camera. Yeah, yeah that one. That's that all it. I'm saying. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. shout out to you know the police departments and all the officers yeah. that do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. Yeah. But you know, it's if just something positive going on. Pull up too, yeah, like pull you pull up, up that's when it's That's all I'm saying. Like if we're doing something positive, y'all could pull up with the same quickness that you pull up when you think we're doing something. negative. When you think we're doing something negative, because half the time you pull up and nothing going on. It's just a bunch of us standing around talking. Talking music. Music that ain't really True crime, that. you know yeah. what I'm saying? True like, you got other things to worry about. So Facts. True that's that. all I'm saying. Other, that's the only negative thing I would say mm-hmm. that there was no positive police presence mm-hmm. in uh, at that event, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So, other than that, though, Big Al, what, what else you got going on, man? I see that uh, you got your hands in a lot of things. You used to be a hooper, right? Or you still hooping? What's going on? 35 uh, and up. You remember your first year, y'all wasn't that good. Sense. Don't act, don't act like yeah yeah. yeah let's get into it. Eight, right? Oh, so you remember? Oh yeah, he tried. Act, that's why he didn't put Old Stone on that. He didn't, he tried not put his logo on that. Cause in that record, he didn't put his logo on that. He was like, nah, he was like, he was like, nah. For this one, we're gonna use that movie logo. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, hold, hold, what's the name of the team? Old Stone. He said, uh, hold on for the, hold on for the <laughs> Old Stone, because I got some, I got some friends on here. <laughs> we gonna be the hateful eight just in case. That's uh, funny, yo. That's that was funny. a good name, though. I like that name. That's that was a good name. It, yeah. you know what? That that team had a lot of uh, small business owners from, oh, from mm-hmm. Nyack, right? Okay. That were playing on that team. Okay. So the owner of, um, I think the name of the, the um, what's the name of that? Oh man, it's two restaurants. One is Bari, mm-hmm. but uh-huh. the owner Ooh, of Bari, I like Bari. Bari, Bari, yeah. Bari, like Bari. also owns. They do vegan restaurant. food there. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Bari. They're collecting yeah. stuff yeah, for us right now. Collecting yeah, toys, yeah. collecting coats right now. Shout out to Dan and his wife. That's the owner. You know what I'm saying? Big but shout out him, to him. And uh, my man Kevin, my man Tor, all business owners in in Rockland County. That's you know dope. What I'm saying? We said, Wait, Kevin let's... McHale, Kevin? Kevin McHale, Kevin. No, Kevin McHale. He's like this all. Oh, uh, I thought <laughs> was... no, no. I talked about Kevin with the white hair. Remember that we was the old man. That's Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Him. Okay, okay. okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Old man with the oh. up and under. Oh, oh. oh that's why you call <laughs> yeah, Kevin yeah. McHale. He be hitting okay. dudes with that up and okay. under old school all style, day. off the glass, playing the glass. He be yeah. It's all good. I got bars like that. You know, you know what I'm saying. Ball type of bronze too. Let's go. Let's go. Plug. Let's go. Speaking yeah. of though, speaking yeah. of, excuse me real quick. Why ain't you pull up, bro? You thirty five? Yeah, ask him that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm interested man. to know Honest. myself. Uh-oh. Yeah, you thirty five. Now we on you. Now we on you, player. Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> and I tables have turned. And Chuck. I asked, I asked him too. Oh, oh and he asked and you. you got oh, the former. Hold on, former player, player of the year, year. nineteen ninety nine. Nyack representing. Facts. Why you ducking fades? Yeah, you know what? He definitely asked me, but you know, I was hampered. I had a back injury. Okay. You know, so, so sixty, so oh, sixty Alex some Blizzard. year old, <laughs> such and such that had a back injury, man, knee we injury. All got, we all got, <laughs> back man, injury. everybody we got all injuries. Injury. We all get out of here. Injuries. What are you talking about? Nah, you know what? Uh oh. <laughs> Try number two. <laughs> <laughs> Try number two. <laughs> Big Al definitely, he reached out to me, but uh. I had to like try to get in the shape a little bit, you know. Oh, yeah. Get in the shape oh, during the season, man. I don't want to hear that. We have Boo Gambino out there. I'll be running up and down. I'll be winded. Get a sub. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'll get a sub. I don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear that. Come on, but, man. You, um, nah, you definitely got to pull up. You got to pull so up. So for the next one, you pulling up. Oh, without a doubt. You got to. Right. Without a doubt. Yo, yo. Ask, ask him on the make, day. Uh, make sure. It's insatiable. Make sure. <laughs> make sure. It's insatiable. Zoom in. We got to ask you one more time for Never Tuck Your Town Radio. Are you pulling up without for the 35 and up? Without a doubt, I'm definitely going to pull up. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This what I was doing was <laughs> I'm going to pull this footage up. <laughs> you know we are. You know I am. You it's know how 4K, I bro. It's in 4K, bro. It's 4K. Go to YouTube. Word up. It's yeah. there for life. It's going to look good, too. You know what he say when I call him? This is how he start. He be like, Wow, well, what what is it again? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man. He gonna slow. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, all, all of a sudden, my I'm back. I'm like, man, all right, yo, I holler. <laughs> no, but you know what I, what I do, but um, I mean, basketball is my first love. Absolutely. You know, I love basketball. You know, when talk I came to us up, about that, man. When I came up here from Brooklyn, mm-hmm. uh-uh. I came up in eighth grade from Brooklyn. Okay, mm-hmm. and um, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the game. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming up here and watching guys like. Watching guys like K Boy play and, mm. and playing those guys, you know, yes. I was like, you know, the battles they was going through. And yeah. Joe Perinella, shout out to all those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Punisher. All, all, all of them play in the league, by yep. the way. That's a fact. Word up, uh, <laughs> my night guys, Mike Mac, Raj. I looked up to mm. these guys, you know. So watching Mike play, Mac, that's, that's, a, that's ooh, a name. That's a, bro. That's a name right there. Oh, okay, man. Chester. Yeah, that's yeah. a name right there. Chester. Chester, Chester yeah. All these guys. So that's watching these guys play, I should sit in the stands and I should be like, I want to play on varsity one day. And you know what, I um. I fell in love with the game, you know. I just watched these guys, and the only thing I was scared about is 
when I used to see the coach scream at them, and I used to be like, I want to play, but then again, I don't want to play. I'm from Brooklyn. My coach was very well organized, but he was like Bobby Knight. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, that okay. Type yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, he messed up. He's going to let you know. You know, watching these guys and coming from the city, I didn't know how to play organized basketball. Gotcha. I used mm. to just play street on, ball. on the block. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just whatever you yeah. freestyling. Yeah. But when I came up here, I had to learn how to play organized basketball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cut, pivot, yeah, yeah. set this pick. So it took a little while for me to get used to it. You know, and my coach, you know, he believed in me. That's, he told me, he said, listen, just, just stick in there. Stick in, you know, pay attention to detail. Mm-hmm. You know, get your head out of the clouds and pay attention. Yeah. You know, eventually... I got the hang of it, mm-hmm. and you know, Clearly. since then it's been right. good. You know, what I'm yeah, saying? you got player of the year, yeah, so you yeah, definitely yeah. got it. That's yeah. a big deal, bro. Especially good. out here, it's a big, it's a big deal, deal, bro. So, what was your what was your training like back then? Because it's totally it's a total different world now. Kids are getting trained at three years old. Nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, bro. what was it like in ninety nine, bro? Was, uh, With the old lot shorts. Yeah, going to the park. Right in ninety nine. Huh? You had a you didn't have no like personal trainer like these kids got right now. We didn't have a personal trainer. Nah, it's just a whole different course. But it was is uh my coach had it's all repetition. You know, my mm. coach had me shooting at least a bunch of jump shots, 500 jump shots a day. You know, after oh, a wow. while, that's how I became like a, a, a good shooter because after repetition, you keep my arm so used to just keep doing muscle this memory and, and all muscle that. Yeah, memory. yeah. So after a while, I mean, I start shooting. I shoot it, and the, the hoop looks this wide. Mm-hmm. So it's that's like crazy. I can just shoot it and run down the court like it's all science. Like, yeah. I start. I just know the angle. I know how hard to shoot it, how soft to shoot it. So after we, you keep doing this, like anything in like repetition, you get better. Teacher, at it, you right. know what I'm saying? So after a while, it just became like clockwork. You know, mm-hmm. I just. That's um, dope. I had to. You ain't gonna shout out your coach? Oh, shout out to Coach Gary Gray. You know, shout out to Coach shout Gary out to Gary Coach Gray. Coach Gray. Shout, right shout out to Coach Gray. You know, he, right. he. You know, he really. And being from the group home, a lot of the kids in my in my group home, they tried out for the team. Mm-hmm. But it's just they brought a whole something like a more raunchiness, hoodness to them. Yeah, like, from, even from New York City. Different yeah. energy. But I like they that. brought a different energy. You know, I came in. I was willing to like listen. Learn. You, you were teachable. I was willing to listen yeah. and, and like you know let me try to learn something. But um, not take not taking that from those guys. Nah, they probably didn't love out. it like you loved it. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. My a lot coach, of entitlement. Coach, you know, he just saw something like I could work with this guy. Yeah, he seemed you like were he teachable. really loved the game. Yeah. And he right. loved the game and um. And I started playing, and um, I got moved up in um to the sections in ninth grade. I didn't play. It was a learning. It's a learning. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a learning experience. Ninth grade, you, know, so, you were with the varsity. So I moved up when they came to the sections. They kind of went. Nine went to the county center. Yeah, yeah. I was sitting on the bench, but I was also just learning and watching. Soaking it in. Soaking it in. Yeah. You were red shirt, and you didn't even yeah, know it. You know, yeah. Yeah. Watching. You know, I was just excited to be. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, in tenth grade, that's when I really started finding my niche and um ah, and dope. learning and learning the game just by watching these mm-hmm. guys, learning mm-hmm. the plays, yeah, getting mm-hmm. a feel for it, and then. From there, it took off, man. It just, you know, I, I really, I fell in love with it more and more, and I said, I love this. And then it was all, it was all love from there, man. Let's talk Dude. about '99, though. Mm-hmm. That's, real, that's yeah. your year, bro. Right, right. Like, what, that's... what was, what was the stats like that year? Um, like as far as like uh, points, know, uh, uh, yeah. What was you averaging like, as a player your, of the what year? Was stat oh, what was your like, numbers? I mean, not to. T- not I was averaging. What? I was averaging twenty five. I figured. Wow, that's crazy. I, I, mean, I got the papers to prove, and mm-hmm. I'm not gonna just. Yeah, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, All of a sudden, he got receipts. Nah, okay. No. Nah. <laughs> he, got, he got literal. <laughs> yeah. The, the papers yeah, is yellow now. Nah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Yeah. Right. I was, you know, I, I was jacking. Okay. But so I was, good. You know, it was going. No, I, it was good though. Bro, twenty five is twenty five, man. That's crazy though. the overselling, bro. Twenty five a game is real. Yo, when I got up here my sophomore year from Atlanta, yo. I walked into the gym, yo, and this dude was just straight jacked. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dang, I was like, I was like, I better rebound. I get, I get, I get rebound for this. They ain't gonna get many, I ain't gonna get many yo, shots. Yeah, the funny yeah, thing yeah. about it is because, yo, when um, before, hold up, sorry guys, you, okay, good, you okay. good, man, you good, good, man. Yo, before um, we 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 uh we have like a big a big big man like uh-huh. we had like guys like six three, but. I remember my coach like this, guys, bring it in. <laughs> he was like, we like, we like, all right, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. He said, listen, we got a big guy from Atlanta moving in. Okay. Did he have the braids? Is, his name is Alvin uh, Carter. Oh, you had the braids yet? I'm like, who's Alvin Carter? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He's moving in from Atlanta. We got a big man to work with. Welcome a man, you know, embrace him. <laughs> Yo, you sound just like I was about to say, does he sound like because you're dying? Embrace him. We got a big man, and um, that's when me and you know me and Al played ball with each yeah, other, you that's know, dope. and we we you know we built a relationship. That's you know what dope. And this is what year? Ninety nine? Yeah. This was, that's uh, dope. Man. No, before uh, he he came ninety seven, ninety eight. I 
I came 98. 98? Yeah. So we played two years with year. each other. Yeah, two years. Oh, so, that's dope. you know, me and I, you know, we built up a relationship and we became brothers, man. You know, cool. That's, up, you know, I was that's cool what ball does, man. What do you know? It was like, I'm, brothers I'm getting, through basketball yeah, I'm again. Getting, I'm getting Word. a feel for somebody that was living in Atlanta. How was down there? Mm-hmm. I'd never been Word, there, man. Right. Yeah. You know, just vibing. Yeah. You know how his he life was, cool my life was. You know the cool kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a popular kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you wanted to win. you like, oh, Jay, I'm cool. I'm now. good yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Oh, I'm with good. Chuck. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so Chuck. it was cool, man. It, it, was, it was cool, man. You know. Um, That's dope, man. I loved it. And, you know, and today, now what I do is, I'm good? Yeah, yeah, you good. Just, yeah. just don't curse. Now, no, yeah, yeah, you good. Now, nowadays, what I do <laughs> is, um, I go to like uh, mental health, mental health and um, disability and people with mentally challenged that's st- struggling with uh, drugs and alcohol. It's a serious mm-hmm. situation. Yes, that everybody needs to talk yeah. about. Talk that talk, brother. Because, um, you know, myself, you know, I struggled with, with drinking. Okay. You know, I had a drinking problem. You know, I can't drink like a normal person. Okay. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to admit that, you know. I love to drink, but mm-hmm. I just didn't know when to stop. Got you. You know, a couple of you guys, y'all probably can have a couple of pops and be like, yo, I got to go home. I got kids. I got, yeah, yeah. Me, I want, I'm staying into the party end. Mm-hmm. You know, so that became like a problem for me, you know. Got you. So, and, um. I mean, hey, hey hold hey, on. Before you even continue, yo, I, I got to let you know. Old version of Brett Bronson. I'm with you on that. I'm drinking till, you know, we, there, was, the there, was a, there was a point in time where we used to drink damn near every day, it felt right. like. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So I, I understand. Right. And then one day you just kind of like, what am I, I doing? Do this, yeah, yeah, you know what? And, and you know what? God um, God bless those that could. I would, at, To this day, you know, I wish I could have a couple of drinks and call it a day, but I have a, I have a disease of more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I want more. Addictive personality. I'm all Once I got one, I don't know when to stop. Got you. You know, so I, it's good that I looked in the mirror and I recognized, listen, I'm having a problem. That's so I um my life is spiraling out of control. I gotta mm. get a hold on this. That's mm-hmm. what's up. And brother. you know, it, it takes a big person to reach out for help and ask somebody for help. You know, and I, I say, you know what? I got a daughter. Mm. What do I love more? Do I love my alcohol or do or I love my daughter, daughter more? Mm. You know, I said, uh, I think I love my daughter more. That's you know, right. I know I love my daughter That's more. Right. So I put I put it down and um That's dope, man. I found that I can live life, I could be happy without any substance or drugs in my system, you know. That's That's so dope, brother. I'm more productive, I got more energy. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm um, not taking nothing against anybody that drinks. I'm just talking about for me. For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your true story. Yeah, yeah, your story. Yeah, yeah. The problem that I had. And um, it's just about, you know, anybody out there that's uh, struggling with it, don't be afraid to ask for help. Mm, you know, don't be afraid to ask jewel. for help and, yeah. uh, because Property. it can save your life. You know, and it, it changed my life for the better. I'm a much that's more happier something. person. That's, that's something, dope, man. man. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing. To, I'd rather see someone <laughs> smile. I could put a smile on somebody's face. That makes my day. Got you. Mm-hmm. You know, I That's go to MHA, up. the Mental Health Association in Valley yes. College. Before mm-hmm. uh-huh. the whole COVID thing hit, mm-hmm. I used to go in there and speak to the youth. Got nice, you. Nice, You know, and speak, to dope, them about, speak to them about uh, drug, drinking and drugging or whatever it is and what it can do to you. Mm-hmm. And just try to, what was given to me freely, I try to give it back freely. That's, That's what's, what's up, You know, man. and then um, if, dope, I could, if I could reach one person, yeah, that makes me happy. Absolutely. You know, I just recently... um. You know, in life, we all going, you know, with all this COVID stuff, you yeah. know, times is Weird. crazy. We living in a crazy yes. time, man. Yeah, yes. for real. And That's what better fact. joy is to, like, see somebody else happy besides yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's exactly. not about me, 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 me. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's good to put a smile on somebody's face. So yeah. you don't know what this Absolutely. person is going through. Mm-hmm. And you can, they can be going through, like, a suicide thought. And you can just, you just give them a smile. You just change their life, yeah. And you can change their life. Yes, change they, you can their save life their life. Quick, you yep. know? Literally so, save word. their life. I think, it's, I think it's good, you know, to um really speak on... um. To really take that real serious mental health and um, addiction, you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what's up. I had a, I, recently, real quick, I had a uh, I had a twenty dollar Dunkin' Donut gift card. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm in the morning. I know this guy. He's out there. You know, and I just I could have I could have just like went. Oh, I'm gonna do. I, I saw him. I know that he's struggling, and mm-hmm. I know his situation. You know, mm-hmm. without even thinking about it, nobody's looking. It's about doing things when no one's looking. That's a fact. That's you know what I'm saying? No cameras was around. Yeah. Nobody was watching me. It was just something that I knew was right. That and you that, had to do. And mm-hmm. when I gave him that, I told him, I said, hey, go get yourself you know, some cup of coffee, donuts, $20 on there. Yeah. You know, that made me feel good when I walked away. Absolutely. I was inside, outside. I was happy because I know that this man is cold out. He can get himself a cup of coffee, a cup of and donuts, something whatever eat. it is. Yeah. So right. Sometimes people got to think about other people instead of yourself themselves all the time. So oh man it's a good thing it's absolutely a it makes me feel good yo chuck you out here talking yeah. that talk chuck you yo you, you came a long too. way Gross, man. Gross, man came Gross, a long man. way from when we used to work so, yeah. together so, over there and the thing is awesome. real quick i still that's what's up i'm not i'm not like a counselor but i'm just only saying the things that i've learned and i still got much more stuff to learn you know what i'm saying we I'm all not do. Perf- i'm not perfect at this 
I still get urges sometimes to, mm. to, to drink or whatever it is, gotcha. but I'm not going to act on it because I know where it's going to lead me. That's powerful, mm-hmm. brother. You know, your thoughts mm-hmm. will come, and then I, they say move a muscle, change a thought. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I read a book. Mm. I watch a little TED Talk on recovery. Do anything, you know what I'm saying? Right. We're talking that talk. Yeah, for real, man. You know, yeah. you know, it's a blessing. Dropping a lot of jewels, brother. For real, man. Big gems. Yeah, it's man. That's a lot of gems. Word. And I'm going to give you a lot of buckets. Oh, you come back. Yeah, okay. You you, oh, oh, you thought that all because you came here with some inspirational <laughs> quotes, I was going to back off? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What a savage. <laughs> Like after, right. after, 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 after all great, that, yeah, yeah, that's how we gotta give it up. Yeah, stuff, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Show sure enough, show <laughs> <laughs> sure enough. Up, man. <laughs> My man oh, Chuck, yo, man, that, Chuck, I gotta, I gotta do that, man, because I don't see you too often, man. And you yeah. know, we got to work together for quite a while in a uh-huh. in an industry that uh, we won't talk about, but it was crazy being in that mm-hmm. environment and doing what we were doing, helping people in that right. in that environment. Right. To see you now, bro. Uh-huh. To move mm-hmm. on from that days, mm-hmm. from those days rather, to see what we're doing now is right. ridiculous. Because right. none Gross, of them people man. in that environment thought mm-hmm. we would do anything. Nah, outside. they thought you. They thought right. you'd be doing the same exact exactly. thing you were doing then. Exactly. That's what they want. You got the willpower. Mm-hmm. You got the mind, yeah. man, to do something positive. I mean, that's how everybody should be thinking. Think about like all the stuff we're going through, man. Think positive. Right. Word. If, you think, if you think positive, this is what I truly believe. You think positive, you're gonna gravitate positive energy. That's, that's, that's a fact. Law, law of attraction. You think negative. You gonna get negative, negative. That's That's all day. day. Stay from around you know me and mine. And dig this. All day. And dig this. Right. I seen this brother at his lowest. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so man, I man. seen I seen this brother. You know what I'm saying? Go from here to where he's at now. And the uh, the the maturation of you, man, is is is, is, is commendable. Go ahead, That's Chuck. Give, Go give ahead, flowers. Chuck. Go ahead, Chuck. I hear that. Right. Right. Yo, so give Chuck. Gym, uh, where can the people find y'all, man? Yeah, man. Um. So you can check me out at uh, www.oldstonepm.com. Mm. Oh, came through here with the website on. Website Wait, is, is that Check the first website? website I think you might be the first website on. Like wow. the first. Everybody else came with the Instagram. Yeah. Right, one more time. One more time. You Sorry to interrupt. Contract. You know what I'm saying? You want to spit it out to us? You need some help with something? Uh, junk removal, mm. construction cleaning. Mm-hmm. You can go to www.oldstone. PM.com. That's one word. That's what Old it is. Stone okay. PM.com. No backslash, no nothing. PM, mm. property management. Mm. Correct. Yes, uh, Not night. Correct. PM. <laughs> <laughs> correct. Anywhere else they can find you? Or? Uh, uh, you can find us on uh, IG. We got the IG. Same same, uh, same tag. Old okay. Stone PM. Old Stone PM on IG. Nyack. Nyak N W A C P. I think it's N uh, underscore Yak underscore K. Right. Okay. Um, mm. Check us out there on IG. Type um, type N W A C P. It pops up. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? DM me. You know what I'm saying? We'll send that um that application over to you. We can have a conversation about it. Mm. Um, bring your talent. You know what I'm saying? To your community. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Bring it. It's not about bringing it to me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about, about bringing it to, it to your community. Yeah. That's Absolutely a fact. to the organization, and then we, you know what I'm saying? Give it to the community the right way. Dope. That's you know a what fact. I'm saying? So come, 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 be involved. All right. Chuck, 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 anywhere Chuck, they can find you, or you off the grid? What you doing? I'm really focused on all my recovery. I ain't right. mad at that. I feel yeah, mad people, at that. I'm always floating around town. You'll see me riding around on a green bike. <laughs> <laughs> and look, it's, it's, they ain't hard to see, but you'll see me floating around. I'm always in the mix, okay. hanging around some, some positive people, man. But if I you hear want that. to get in Dope. touch with this brother, yeah. you can also get in touch with us through the yak and all Bet. that stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Dope. I, I get you in contact with this brother. You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of gen. He got a lot of weather. He don't. He don't. Chuck, he don't I know. He that's why I don't. He don't know it, but he do. I know he do. I know he do. He's gonna help a lot of people. I know he do. Trust me. Hopefully, it's in the back of your mind. To start your own situation for yeah, yourself, that's, it's inspirational what you just came uh, in here and told us. That's a fact. So I appreciate you. We didn't even expect that. Yeah. that. Yeah, we didn't even expect that, bro. Yeah. So that's dope. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. you. I hope get a platform like this. Thanks to you guys for yeah. letting me uh, appreciate speak. y'all. Appreciate Absolutely. you. Get a platform Absolutely. like this. I could read. Maybe I could read somebody that's struggling. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. That's what it's about. That's a fact. I think, I think that's your calling, bro. Yeah, you never good. know. That's a fact. You never know. Yo, appreciate you, brothers. All right. Bless. Three o'clock. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Appreciate y'all, man. Radio. <laughs> you already gonna take this pick, right? You're All right. Touche à tout. Touche à tout sur émission à caractère social, culturel et même politique.